Now let's quickly write all the equations here. So we know that CI is equal to GI plus PI CI minus 1. Let's substitute I is equal to 1. So that is C1 is equal to G1 plus P1 C0. Let's call this equation 1. C2 similarly is nothing but G2 plus P2 into C1. Let's substitute C1 from equation 1 here which is nothing but G2 plus P2 G1 plus P2 P1 C0. This is equation number 2. If you see now C2 does not depend on C1, C2 just depends on C0. We'll see this further. Let's see C3 also real quick. C3 is nothing but G3 plus P3 C2. Let's substitute the value of C2 here. So that is nothing but G3 plus P3 G2 plus P3 P2 G1 plus P3 P2 P1 C0. So this is nothing but equation 3. Again if you see C3 just depends on C0. It does not depend on intermediate carries which was the problem with ripple carry adder. So we can just predict our final carry just by looking at C in. This is the fun. Now let's finally do it for C4 and then we'll come to a very interesting reduction. So C4 here, let's do it here, is equal to G4 plus P4 C3. Let's substitute C3 here is equal to G4 plus P4 G3 plus P4 P3 G2 plus P4 P3 P2 G1 plus P4 P3 P2 P1 and C0. Cool. So this is my equation number 4. Now what do we know? What is G4 is to 1? Look at equation 4 and look at G4 is to 1. Do you think there is any similarity? Yes, if you look till here, G4, P4, G3, P4, P3, G2, P4, P3, P2, G1. So this is nothing but terms till here are nothing but G4 is to 1. Then a plus sign. Then can you see P4, P3, P2, P1 is nothing but P4 is to 1. So that is nothing but P4 is to 1 and C0 and this is nothing but my C4. Exactly the same thing I have drawn here. So my C4 is equal to 1 if my G4 is to 1 is 1 or means an OR gate and an AND gate which has input P4 is to 1 and C0 in this case C in is equal to C0. This is the concept of carry look ahead adder.